Hey, so let me get this straight. I bought this in 2023. Actually, this just came in the mail a couple days ago. It's the Canon PowerShot G10. Just right off the bat, it's a pretty fun little camera. It's kind of hefty. It's got like a thick lens right in the front. Obviously it's non-removable, but I think that's part of the charm. It comes with a bunch of filters preset into the camera. And in terms of uh, cool factor, I think this bad boy can do just a little bit better. You know what I mean? I think it might be a good idea to try doing a little 2023 using the Canon PowerShot G10 challenge. We'll see if this bad boy really holds up because uh, based on some of the other videos I've seen, people like it. All right, so here's the camera itself. You can kind of get a good glimpse at it. And the, the one I got came with this awful screen protector, so dislike that. I might take that off, but also at the same time, I want to keep it up. I don't know, shit, you're hitting that thing, you know what I mean? So the power button's on the top right there. It turns on quite fast. It's got a big, big, hefty, girthy lens. You got this thing up here, you know? You got that thing over there, that thing over there. Uh, <laughs> just beautiful you know one of my favorite things you can turn this display off and you can still take pictures as you can see it's still on kind of see let's see if i can get up in there yeah you can kind of see that's kind of a fun little look you know also this part very satisfying got the good old scale down here i think that means six ounces so i that's not that heavy i guess but you know it is what it is. So yeah, let's take this bad boy out and we will see what happens, you know? Oh, also, I almost forgot to say. It takes a, this is the card it came with, but I can probably can put more. It takes a, uh, a normal, normal SD card, you know? Also takes uh, these thick batteries. I got two of them with the order that I, I spent. Let me, I'll, I'll pull it up so you can see. I think I spent exactly a hundred something bucks on this. I don't know, I thought it was a little, Oh my goodness, without even opening the lens, you can turn it on. You can see another camera I took a picture of. Very cool. I guess uh, without turning it on completely, you can look at the pictures. Absolutely stunning. All right, I just thought I'd give you a little update. What I'm gonna do with the camera. Is it usable in 2023? First thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that when I go out, it was not super sunny. It's pretty outside, don't get me wrong, but I wanna hit that golden hour, you know what I'm saying? I wanna make sure that the uh, sun rays are beautiful just to see and and extract all the little crap I can get out of this thing you know like I want to I, I want to make this thing work but not as hard as it could work right now I want it to work easy you know <laughs> I want good pictures that's what I'm trying to say anyway right now it is 408 I honestly might go out now and just just to test it out you know just to see what kind of uh, pictures I can take right now and maybe I go back out at like eight or seven or whenever the sun sets because there's some pretty flowers out there so I don't know I'll keep you updated. I just thought we would go over, because I just got back taking pictures using the Canon G10. I forgot what it was called. 2023. Is it doable? We're about to find out. So this is a picture that I got right when I got the, the camera. I actually took this before I even started filming this video. This is, I didn't really look at it until now, but kind of fun, you know, looks decent. Uh, another picture of, you know, her uh, laying her head down, uh, kind of fun, kind of quirky. We go to the next one. This one I actually really like. You can see the shine in her eyes a little bit. Oh, look at this, like a little, I don't know what that is, but that's probably just a mess up on the camera, but that's okay. I didn't notice that until I zoomed all the way in, so I do not mind. We won't zoom in for these anymore. So I like this one quite a bit. This one's kind of nice. Very, uh, very comforting. The lighting is just super, the, 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 oh, by the way, these are all without editing. So the lighting in this one is very soft. It feels kind of uh, <clears throat> surreal a little bit, but at the same time, it's just, it's sharp, but it's not a super sharp image. So I don't know, very cool. We go to the next one. Uh, this is one that you kind of saw me point the camera out earlier. Really pretty. It's a very nice picture. <laughs> We go to the next one. I took this one. I, I sell cameras. Uh, this is one of the cameras that I was selling. I tried to take a picture of the camera itself. I must have taken it with the manual mode or something. Did not take it a very good image. I know it can take a better image than this. I mean, just looking at the greens here versus the green here, you can kind of see the, the little setup I got back here. I don't know if you can see that doing that, but it is a lot prettier of a green. I'll tell you that. Uh, these pictures now, I took these and uh, the, the pink 
surrounding you can see some fuzz some some crap in her fur but the pink surrounding her looks phenomenal it's very or i mean look at the wall back here you can see it just reflecting everywhere it's super pretty and you can even kind of see it on all the little the sheets and then like it, and on the back of her fur even i i love that it's very it's it, it captured that very well so it did a very good job with these now these were the actual pictures i tried to take during the uh walk that i was talking about just a couple seconds ago in this video as you can see the green in this picture looks phenomenal i love specifically down here the contrast between this like orange and this green very clear pictures very pretty pictures um Here's another one. You can kind of see these orange cones in the background. They stand out. The green, even I just noticed this, but some of the flags over here, very pretty. It captures color really, really nice. Uh, until you get to these darks. I don't like the darks. They don't look very good, but you can always edit these in Lightroom or some other, some other application. Another picture, I'm not too thrilled about this one, just looking at it from here, but you know, a little blurry, but the just, you know, doing its thing. Here's a picture of some concrete. Uh, this, As you can see, the, the I was expecting there to be a little bit more of a uh, golden hour. Instead, it was kind of a gray crap hour. <clears throat> Instead of getting good pictures, I got mid pictures. But the compositions are kind of nice. Like I, I can see editing this and making it so that this right here is kind of straight, uh, making all the lines a little bit more even and, and parallel to each other, uh, not parallel, yeah, parallel to each other. Uh, also kind of a fun picture. The lighting looks cool. I like the way it fades over here. It captured, the camera really does do a very good job of capturing the, the color, which I think is the main important aspect. You can see the, the way it looks. It just looks nice. It's a nice it's a nice camera. I mean, I wasn't sure what to expect taking pictures on the the Canon G10, but it it really does do a very good job of taking. And I, I didn't do any editing. Like I didn't I didn't mess with the camera whatsoever. All I did was I would walk up to these things and just take a quick picture. The only thing I really thought about was like what would look good, and then I would just take a picture of it. I didn't like mess with the camera settings at all. Uh, I had it on the sunset filter that was it which you know is supposed to be sunset it is not but uh, it's still a fun picture uh the greens the greens on this camera are just phenomenal and very very good very good again more greens I, I remember noticing how nice the greens were looking at i mean it just rained here too in texas so where i live in the in the texas area you could probably figure it out based on some of these pictures but you know that's okay uh you can kind of see a little bit of the blue i can tell that this takes very nice sky pictures just this it was cloudy and it did not look like this in real life but it looks like this in the picture a very good sign you know what i'm saying uh, more green. It was starting to get a little darker and I think it was having a harder time focusing because of that. So a lot of these last pictures I tried taking and I tried standing as still as I could. I would have, if I brought like a tripod or a monopod, I probably would have looked a little better. But I feel like the whole point is you just take this with you and you just take pictures. You know what I mean? Like you're not supposed to mess with the man, the focus. You're not supposed to mess with any of the settings. You you learn how to set it to like sunset mode and then you just do that forever. And it's like, that's, that's the point. You know what I mean? Uh, so some of these uh, nighttime-ish pictures, they're not really night, but you can see it's getting a little darker. So it, it does a really good job with bright colors. But the moment you start to hit some of these darker colors, it doesn't look as good. But like the reds and the greens, I wish I took some blues. I'm sure the blues would look good. You can kind of see, I guess you can kind of see some blue back here. It, the colors are just phenomenal. Phenom, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this green doesn't look too good, but I think that I didn't do the sunset filter. No sunset on this one, so, you know, that's the problem. I need to take more pictures with this, I feel like, to showcase some more stuff. I mean, you can kind of see how good this looks. I mean, I think this picture is pretty decent. And I'm not looking at the composition, I'm just looking at the colors. The colors look very nice. I, I It's very pleasing to me. I, I'm inspired. I feel inspired using this. It's it uh, while I think 100 I think I spent 120 seems like a decent amount for this and it really is if you're willing to spend about a hundred dollars to get like a fun camera to mess around with this isn't too bad. I really do enjoy this. Hopefully you like these little pictures that I took and hopefully they show up good on the on the video. What's my verdict on the Canon G10? I actually think if you're looking for a fun point and shoot and you can find one for a good deal on eBay or one of your friends is looking to sell one or something, honestly, I would recommend it. There's a lot of really fun little features in this camera. It's a nice hefty camera. It doesn't feel like some other point and shoots that I've used. It kind of feels a little bit closer. It's like a mix between a DSLR and a point and shoot. It's like the way that they designed it, they got all this little these little knobs on the top. I, I would recommend it in 2023. I think it's a fun camera. The, uh, I gotta say, the SD card aspect of it is probably the best part because you can you can get like a cheapo SD card, run out, have some fun with your friends, make, make fun little, make some stuff, you know? If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. Maybe let me know what other cameras you'd like me to look at. I would love to know which ones you think. Thank you. And... Thank you.